<sighs> Evening all. How are we? 27 degrees over here on Webby Sports Road right up here in Kalasavaki in Scott's Corner. Now, um, it's been a foggy this afternoon. Um, I've not been too good today, to tell the truth. And that was the reason why I'm a little bit later, so sorry for about, uh, for, I usually pull out 5, 6, 7 o'clock, but this is out for about 8, 30, 9 o'clock um, today. Been mega busy with, my son who's been on holiday for five days over in uh, Seville, so been down every morning, cat, evening, cat, sorted him out, feed him in all the bits and pieces. Um, my brain is just ticking and ticking and ticking. Never hardly slept last night, two or three hours with my first live vlog that I did without the main man, Tim. Um, it was not a disaster. It started, there was a bit of a disaster to start. Two small little videos. But we have to take them off, that's for sure. Listen, you know I'm a dinosaur when it comes down to mechanics. Come down to um, all this sort of stuff with telephones and computers, and cameras, so we go on, don't we? It is what it is, we go on. But we have a bit of fun. That's some fantastic comments this last few days. So all I'm going to say is thank you very much indeed. Passion. That's what it's all about. Absolute passion. It's what we love. It's what we do. It's what we enjoy. We're all getting on in life. So just if you've got a chance of doing something, go and do it. Now, I'm going to talk about um, all the games, most of the games that's happened over the past few days since last Friday. Got a nice little story to tell. Um, right at the end and it's all about that box that box phenomenal all right I'll tell you about that later on in the show I was in Monte Cristo's uh, a couple of days ago got a big Celtic boys just coming on the jollies and one said wait you is that a paisley is that a paisley cap not paisley big a part of this or paisley paisley is the same room, isn't it Kevin, the Scotsman's that. Um, St. Mirren. Obviously, it's the same sort of colours, but it's nice to show him. As you know, it's uh, fat fighting against cancer in Tenerife. As you know, which I do quite a bit to help the people in need with cancer. Uh, so, put that away. I uh, always got my uh, my good luck charm. Be kitty kills. I'm not putting it around today because it's not that cold. It's about 20 odd degrees. So that's always here. Great colours, eh? Red, absolutely quality. And uh, and I got me sparring this week. Brought me sparring. Actually goes with me vest. We got some rugby vest in it. So that is what it is. So so I didn't get any sleep t uh, last night. Again, my brain's just ticking and ticking and ticking, and doing things I want. I want the show to get bigger and grow bigger. And so I just need your help to pass these vlogs out and put it on your Facebook page, Instagram or what have you. I ain't got a clue. I'm just here, talk what I do and try and get um, ex-footballers and wanted to come on the show. And we've got a few things happening over the next couple of months, that's for sure. Got a couple of big Celtic pals of mine. One lives here, Alex, and um, one Dominic, season ticket holder. He's out sometime, 10 days time, so I'm gonna go for a walk and we're gonna have a chat. Another guy called Jack, funny enough, uh, he comes two or three times, a lovely fellow. He's another Celtic fan. But mainly, as you know, it's Rangers, isn't it? A lot of my pals are Rangers, you know, your Paul Stewart's, your Jim Donaldson's, etc., etc. So, give a bit of Celtic a little bit of coverage. And also, Graham Withy, as you know, my good pal, comes out two or three times a year, ex Conjure City, Cardiff City, and uh, he's out, so I'm going to come for a walk in, going to have a little chat with him and so forth. So, but listen. Without further ado, don't forget, great story coming up a little bit later on in the show. As I say, sorry it's a bit late, but I had a couple of hours of sleep this afternoon. I've nothing to eat today, plenty of water, cut the power seat, it's a bit of a headache, but we're fine. Spoke to Foggy, says, listen, just count it. I said, no, 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 we're doing it, sir. We are doing it. I'm not going to disappoint all my um, Scottish participants and a lot of English people that, uh, that follow the uh, my Scottish corner. I'm trying to grow it. So at the end of the day, if there is a four fire, another East Fife, a Dumbart and a Stenish mirror, what have you, fan out there, please send me a comment, tell me who you are. It'd be fantastic. Now, let's go back to last Friday. 
last Friday. Scottish Challenge Cup. Oh, uh, Wraith Rovers, who now, who were top of the championship um, in front of Dundee United. They've lost five on the bounce, so having an absolute dreadful run. Really, really are. They took on Airdrie in the semi finals of the Scott Challenge Cup, and Airdrie beat them by a goal to nil. Now, other semi final, Falkirk, top of Division One. They took on the New Saints, who play in the Welsh League, the Cumbria League, and they're top of the table there by 14 points. And they came out worthy winners by a goal to nil. So basically, it's Airdrie of Scotland. And the Welsh team, the New Saints, are in the final. And the final is sometime either on the 23rd or the 24th of March. And I'll keep you posted on that. And fair play. I've never heard of the New Saints before, to be perfectly honest with you. A professional club. Uh, founded 1959. They've got 3,000 uh, capacity stadium. Craig Harrison is the boss. And they're 14 points clear of the league. So they've obviously got a crack inside. Probably experience and young lads um, together. Right, let's go on to last Saturday where the Scottish uh, SPL League kicked off. A bit Pataudry, 8th Aberdeen, took on the mighty Celtic. And the f one of them games where it was early doors, I was watching bits of it. First half, Aberdeen, not one shot or one shot on target. Unbelievable for a home side. Bit of a poor game, but anyway... What happens? Five minutes into the second half, they take the lead. Aberdeen won Celtic, nil. And Celtic are on a bit of a downer at the moment. I think Rangers got a great chance of the league this year. So it's squeaky bum time for them, to be honest with you. Celtic equalised in the 6th odd minute, so they're still top of the table. Sixth place, Dundee at Dens Park took on the Jambos, and Jambo are third, and Jambos won by three goals to two. Hibs took on St Mirren. Kevin the Scotsman, he, he, they're, in, they're in a real rich gravy bit of form they are. They really, really are. So Hibs were seventh, took on St Mirren, they were fifth. And St Mirren took them apart and won by three goals to nil. Motherwell, second bottom, took on Killy. That was one goal apiece. Killy a fourth. And the Teddy Bears Rangers, easy winners against bottom of the table, Livingston, by three goals to nil. Other game... Ross County took on St Johnston. Ross County uh, at home and St Johnston won by a goal to nil. So well done to the boys in blue, green, orange, whatever. Right. What about that news on th uh, a few days ago when Aberdeen sat, back, sat Robson and the new manager, Neil Warnock, 75 years of age. I think he's had about... Um, his playing career must have had uh, 11 clubs. Managerial was about 20 clubs, but the biggest club was obviously Sheffield United for about eight years. Uh, phenomenal. And he's the interim manager until the end of the season. So he obviously he's going to keep him up. But the point in question is, if they do well and play well, will he have or will he want the job for next season? 75, he keeps saying he's going to retire. He's at Crystal Palace, he was everywhere, isn't he? But uh, Watch is a great guy. Watch is, he looks better now than he did years ago, didn't he? Um, then into the Championship. Uh, let's have a look at that. Yeah, my mate, uh, big game actually. Air United took on Dundee United. And uh, Craig, uh, Scott Brown, beg your pardon, ex Celtic legend is the manager there. I think the first game was 2 2 at home. Um, under Scott Brown and Air United lost by two goals to one so Dundee United stay top of the table and my pal Liam Grimshaw is me pal as you know he had an assist in that so well done Liam top man so Air United won Dundee United two and then a four points clear even with a game in hand because Wraith Rovers were having an absolute shocker as I said earlier in the programme five points adrift two of the games saw Dunfermline or eighth Black and Whites uh, lost at home to Morton, who Liam Grimshaw used to play for. Their fourth, they came big winners of five goals to nil. And the other game was Inverness, again, lost at home to Queen's Park by a goal to nil. So that was three away wins in the championship. If you just joined uh, my show, Webby Sports Round up here in sunny Tenerife, but it's a little bit dark tonight, so I'm a little bit late, as you, as you probably know. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And there's a little like button as well. So tick that as well. More subscribers, more likes we get, the better it is. And the more 
passion that I give you. And on top of that, Foggy, my number 99, give him some love, please. He is the Facebook page man. We're growing it very, very quickly. He does a lot of work for me, so give him some love and put a tick on Facebook page. Right, let's see where we're going now. Yeah, the, the thing is with Division 1 and Division 2, um, I think it's it's already sewn up these these uh, these leagues, aren't they? You had Queen of South who are seven, took on Hamilton who are second, full cut at top, and Hamilton won by two goals to know away. And then Sterling who are eighth took on Cove Rangers who are third, fighting to get to second or first, and it ended up with a two all draw. So it's a bit quiet in Division One up in Scotland at the moment. On to two, Division 2, we saw Clyde take on Peterhead, who was second, behind Stenish Mirror, at the top of the table, and they are 15 points clear. Ended up Clyde 1, Peterhead 1. Elgin took on East 5, my, my boys East 5. And not a bit of a bad, they're up and down like a yo-yo East 5. Uh, Elgin beaten by a goal to nil. And four far took on Spartans, who were third. And Spartans had a great chance to close on Peterhead and they lost by a goal to nail away from home and Thomas Table Stenish Mirror again they win nearly every I think they've only won, lost one game this season and Stenish Mirror beat down Barton who were fourth by a goal to nail and as I said they're 15 points clear Tuesday and Wednesday there was one or two games Tuesday saw Motherwell beat Ross County by five goals to nil then the big one at Ibrox Park um, took on Aberdeen now, obviously, Aberdeen drew with Celtic on the weekend, one goal apiece, so could Rangers beat them and get two points back on that to get closer to the SPL League, where they did, beaten by two goals to one, to Ward and to the Ibrox Boys and Rangers Football Club. Very, very tight. So, Paul Stewart, very happy. My pal Davey, very, very happy. And uh, Jim Donaldson, very, very happy. Well done, boys. And I know... Big shout out to John Fleming, my um, he's my butcher in Kilsyth. He was at the game, sent me a couple of videos, so he was mega, mega happy. So don't forget, if you're ever in Kilsyth and you go to the Cross Butchers on the main street, pop in there and say to them, we watch Webby Sports Roundup and you'll get a discount. I think you will. I'm sure you will. He's a top, top fella and he'll be out very, very soon and uh, I'll get him on the show. So well done, Big John. Top man. Um, Wednesday, last night, two massive games, St Mirren, Kevin the Scotsman, if you've not subscribed to him, check his uh, YouTube channel out, Kevin the Scotsman, he's everywhere, Tenerife, Grankin area, Lanzarote, Benedon, lovely, lovely fella, uh, he went to see St Mirren take on Dens Park of Dundee, and they won again by two goals to nil, so another clean sheet to St Mirren, the Paisley boys, well done Kevin, and last night, what a game. I didn't see it, I'll be honest. Hibs taking on Celtic. They needed to get back in because it's squeaky bum time for Brendan Rodgers. He's back for a second spell. 1-0. Uh, 1-0. One one That's what happened. Penalty to Celtic in the first half. I think it's after 10 minutes. Then Aberdeen equalised in the um, Hibs, sorry, 60th minute, I believe. And then there was a penalty in the 92nd minute. And you can see all the Rangers fans looking in all the sudden going, oh my God. And one up and popped it away. Ended up Hibs 1, rain, uh, Celtic 2, 3 points for the Celtic boys. But again, it's very, very tight at the top of the table. I think it's going to be right to the end of the season. And I hope it is because we want that sort of... SPL lead, don't we? We want, we don't want team run away with it, or the second team million miles away. It's very, very difficult at the moment, because as you know, there's lots, lots and lots of money up there. Right, I'm going to chuck the book away. Um, that's what we're going to talk about now. I'm going to have a little bit of drink, so I need it. Cheers and good health to you. Thanks for all my viewers, old and new. Now, young man, ex-footballer called Dougie Arnott came into my last pub the world famous Garden Bar oh many many years ago and it was 2008 was his testimonial and we um, when we had it in 2005 so it was probably within the first couple of years 
Lovely, lovely fella. Five foot seven. He used to play for Pollock in the Junior League. And then he went to Motherwell. Had a bad injury. And uh, he's 59 at the moment. He's a, he's a Leo the Lion. 5th of August. 64 like me. Leo the Lion. Played for Motherwell from uh, 86 until 1998. Then he had an injury. I think he had a pub somewhere, if I remember. Got the kids, wife. Lovely. Lovely, lovely fella. Anyway... So we got very, we got um, talking, had a few beers together, loved his GGs and so on and so forth, and um, we just we just got become friends. Anyway, cut long story short, Motherwell played Coventry City back in 1993, the 26th of April to be precise, and it was an official opening of the South Stand, and every player. Both sides who participated in it. I don't know who played for Coventry, I have to find that out to tell the truth, uh, back in 93, would give them one of these. Proper crystal. Excuse me. There we go. And it states on there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Official opening, 26th of 4th, 93, Motherwell versus Coventry City, the South Stand. Absolutely superb. And he brought that in and he gave that to me and I've had that for how many years now since I sold the pub back in 2015 but the story doesn't stop there he had a testimonial uh, 11th of September 2008 I remember it very very well it was the old firm against Motherwell uh, and there was one or two from either side I know Ali McCoy's played, Gordon Jory played, I think McAvaney, not too sure. Anyway, it was played on that, and he invited me over to go and play in it, even on the golf, which was a lovely, lovely gesture for him. It didn't happen because in then, when I got the pub, it's busy, July, August, September, all the people are over, and I need, need to be in the pub working, earning money and so forth. But, absolutely, just a nice gesture. And there was a, I can't remember his name, a big Celtic, good pal of his. He organised it. He was logistics guy and so on and so forth. And then also what he did was, um, they had a golf day the day before and he rang me on the golf day. And I think he played with Frank McAvenny and so forth. So just better name drop in. And his son, I think, I'm sure he did, went on in second half in the game. And it ended up, Annie McCoy and Grimp and the boys, they beat Motherwell by five goals to four. And Annie McCoy scored three. And uh, Dougie on it did get the very first goal for Motherwell. Um, not too sure what the crowd was and so forth. I think it was a few thousand there. But his son came on second half. Uh, just a nice touch. Just an absolute lovely touch. I must have not seen him for a while. I'm not sure whether he still comes over. I used to have his number. I probably have somewhere. But um, it was just one of them things. It's just that the people that you're meeting, your pubs over here, uh, they're just superb. And so, Dougie Honest, if you're about and uh, and you ever watch this, or if there's any Motherwell fan or anybody knows him, I'd love you, please, to uh, to get in touch with him. Right, that's it for me now. Um, I've got to organise my um, Webby Sport Roundup for tomorrow. I've got to meet Tim in the morning, and that goes out at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We're going to be talking about darts, a bit of golf, we've got rugby union, it's the five nations, six nations, I beg your pardon, um, all this weekend, England taking on uh, Wales and so on and so forth, so um, looking forward to it, so I'm off the beer today, no beer, I'm having no beer tomorrow, and we're all going to meet down the three or shoes on Saturday afternoon to go and watch uh, 4.45 England against Wales, and a big shout out to my boys, Common City Football Club, PUSB, because we beat Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup fifth round replay, four goals to one, and then we play Maidstone in the last 16. If we get past them, then we're in the, in the quarterfinals. It's a big if, but you never know. They did go to Portman Road and Ipswich and turn them over, didn't they? So, well done. And they'll bring a, they'll bring a lot of fans out, a lot of fans out. So, I hope you've enjoyed Webby uh, Sports Roundup and my Scottish Corner for a Thursday night. Again, it's out about half eight, nine o'clock, as you probably would know. All I want you to do, please, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Get all your pals. Send it off to them, please. Appreciate it. Um, do the little ticks. 
and get uh, Foggy on the Facebook page and give him some love. I'm trying to grow my Scottish side. I, I love all the football. I love the Scottish football, as you know, with Rangers, Celtic, Motherwell, Hibs, uh, St. Mirren, and a big shout out to Kevin the Scotsman, and also a big shout out to all my other um, YouTubers, and especially Tim, who started me off on this uh, sometime end of April of last year. And we're going to have another live coming up very, very, very soon. So, all I'm going to say is if you like what you hear, you like what you see, subscribe to Webby Sports Roundup. In my manner, in sunny Tenerife, in the clouds tonight, it is, it is warm, I tell you. You have a great night. And please tune in tomorrow for my Webby Sports Roundup on a Friday when all the information is there. All right? You take care and have a good hog minute, whatever that is. Boom, have it, my son.